Alright guys, we need to have a serious talk. Right here. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Look at my score. Look at my look at how look at how high my score is. And do you see this? How I am not in third place? What is this? Absolutely not. We're getting right into the game. Right, we're getting it, it I'm flustered right now. This and this, boom, we're going. We're going Mage and Valkyrie because it is what worked. It I like Whenever I play offline, I play these two, and it works out. So um, I'm doing it again because I should save that. I should save that that health thing uh, because I know that. Oh well, nope, maybe not. Um, hello, bomb. Thank you. I don't know what these skeleton things do. They they look big and ominous. I maybe it means there's a boss coming or. Oh, we found a secret. I don't know whether to advance or to not advance. Like, is it better to skip levels? Uh, because I feel like you're missing out on all the XP that you would have gotten from previous levels, right? So there's this conflicting motion in my head. But then, uh, if I think about it, it's like, but then there's more bosses and point-based stuff, I guess? Like, what is the what is the benefit to skipping levels besides getting closer to the end? Uh, and to that I say I don't know uh, because you get because w once you get to like past level 10 they start like spawning those those uh, those hoodlum guys that that throw balls of darkness at you and that's no, that's no good <laughs> but I think we, we take the exit to level 3 because that's skipping what level 2 there's probably nothing good on level 2 anyway I probably should have taken all those coins and stuff but you know what's life without risks Honestly, uh, and I don't know if I'm gonna actually even beat my old, my old store old score because the the reason why I got that old score is because uh, when I played the game, there was a lot of bosses. There was a ton of bosses and maybe even a li like some mini bosses uh, that I fought. And I believe I ha I have to believe that they give you way more score than uh, basic enemies. Uh, I completed a quest. Um, oop. But. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's very up to the game what is the score that you get. So it, it warrants multiple playthroughs for sure uh, to see to see if you can get that best combination of bosses uh, to get. <laughs> These guys are really good to defeat. Do they give you five points? They do. They give you five points each. So I mean that's something to be excited about. I think every enemy gives you five points each, so it really doesn't matter what they are. So what do these statues do, I wonder? Because they're everywhere, and I just destroy them because out of instinct. Out of instinct I destroy them because I, I feel like destroying things is going to give you more points. I don't know if it actually does, I haven't actually paid attention. So as Valkyrie, you can like see secrets, which is why I switch to Valkyrie every so often. Because I feel like this level's hiding something. But you never know. You never know. I'm also aiming for like a score, a minimum score of 10,000. So 10,000 is always my goal when I start a run. Uh, well, at least when I play offline. Because I feel like 10,000 is a, is you tried. If you get less than 10,000, it's like you didn't even try. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing inside that wall? This is new to me. Uh, what is that guy doing inside that wall? Hold on. Uh, excuse me, skeleton, li listen. I don't have time for your shenanigans skulls. Uh, oh, well, and more shenanigans. Every time. That health bar is scaring the crap out of me. Like, I know I have uh, 164 health, but I would like not to know. Uh, can you just tell me what you want? Are you just there to tell me that there's a hole? That there's a door there? I, I'm thinking that's what it is. Like, the game's just putting that guy there to tell me that there's a, a bomb door there that I hate. That I hate. Oh, well, thank you, Skull. Oh, more Skulls. Skulls have to be the bane of my existence in this game. Uh, skulls and demons, uh, and those, and, well, okay, so every enemy, <laughs> no, 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 uh, the, those dark hooded guys, skulls and demons, 
Dark headed guys because they spawn later, demons because they spawn later, uh, and skulls because they spawn right now, and I hate all of them. Okay, so is it is it true that this guy is gonna throw it and Valkyrie just sets it down? Oh, well, and he threw it into a wall. Great. Awesome. Good. Happy about that. Uh this game. With with its bomb throwing mechanics. Bomb throwing mechanics one on one ish with tuba player. I don't understand what I'm what Okay. Can you th not throw it into a wall? Yes! Awesome. You know, it's, it, it seems like it's easier, but I never know. I never know, because it, it's always it's always a little bit wonky. Um, more these skeletons. I wish, I wish they would like, I wish they would like, when they spawned, they would, they would like blink or something. Or, or they would spawn farther away because when they spawn like that like they spawn like right next to you and you're like oh snap and then you've already taken damage and you have to kill them which is dumb because if you enter a new room it's always like that like you see well those guys spawned a little bit far farther away but sometimes they'll spawn like right next to you it's not fun it's not a fun time um that that oh there's the devil guys that's how you know my start hating my life here in a second <coughs> devil guys are really good I, I if oh well we just got all of our health back and a whole bunch of experience and we are level three which means our shots are now giant squares which is great for me I'm always excited when my shots are giant squares also uh, let's just take a moment to admire the reflection on the floor I just thought that, I always think that's really cool, like reflections and stuff in video games. Uh, even though it's probably really simple to do, I, I think it's a nice touch. Does it reflect on this too? It does. It shouldn't reflect on this. I, I feel like if, if, if it's possible, you, they should totally make it so that when you when you walk over this, there's no reflection. It's just a small thing. It's a small complaint. It's not even it's not even really a complaint. It's a, it's a me being an idiot thing. Also, we're at 2,000. That's a decent amount. I'm looking for more bosses. Bosses seem to give you the most amount of anything. Most amount of everything. Or at least at least from my experience. Like, when I got the 22,000 score, I got, like, a ton of bosses going. Uh, and maybe that's just a testament to how large the levels I, that were that I was getting. Um, is this guy going to heal me? He's going to he He's a healer, I think, right? Yeah. So it's good to have him on a level, just so I know that I can take unlimited amounts of damage. <laughs> oh, well, you just can't use him right away. I think is the, the big mistake that I think people will make is using him right away. Uh, but really, you don't really need to use him till. Is this guy... What are you talking about? We hid the treasure... Oh, you suck. For who? For what? Why would you hide the treasure... The, the key in the treasure chest? For what reason would you do that, dude? There's the key. Yep, blow up. Thank you. I have the key. I never use Valkyrie. I feel bad because she's just following Wizard around. I feel like she's supposed to be his bodyguard or something. And, um... Good. I'm glad I missed that. Awesome. Okay. Um, it, it doesn't last very long anyway. So, I don't, I don't even care. Oh, well, okay. This these rooms suck. Like when you right when you come out of a teleporter and they just swarm you. Oh my goodness. Sometimes sometimes I'll just die from that from that uh, exchange. But I've I've gotten better, obviously, cuz I'm not dead. So on dungeon 5, we have 2000 points. Uh, we're we're decent. We're decent right now. 2000 points on level 5, I would say is a pretty good deal. Uh, I would like to be at I would like to not. I should start like gung hoing for these uh, things. Valkyrie so, found a secret. Valkyrie found a secret. I know I did. I was there. Perfect. I broke that probably too early. That's the thing, though. You need to think about when break when breaking that stuff. Um, is what is this guy gonna say? That there's a bomb door over there that I hate. 
thank you for being there just to hate my life. We do have a wooden shield though. That's nice. Blocks projectiles. So I wonder if the if the shield will block the projectiles of the hooded the hooded guys, right? Because when you get super far, there's those purple hooded guys that shoot and do way too much damage to you. So I wonder if if the wooden shield will block all of that noise. Okay, give me this bomb. We're just gonna go blow this up right now. Can I kill this guy? And then in turn, this door will go away. Please blow up, please blow up. Oh my goodness, of course. Of course. At least that leaves less room for uh, error next time. Next time, there will be no error, which is right now. Let's go. Yes. That door needs to blow up more. Now the door is blown up. I feel like it's easier just to blow up the walls. I'm level 4 and my shots are upgraded, I think. Good. This wooden shield is actually really good against projectiles. Uh, there's the exit, but there's stuff over here, and I, I don't want to miss out on points, especially in a high score a high score attempt. Um, I hope that I can beat or get in the third place. I really do. I'm going to buy this. I didn't even check if I had enough money for it, but I'm going to buy that. It gives me a golden shield. I feel like that's a really good idea. Just anytime someone offers you a golden shield, I think the 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 thing that you should say is yes. <laughs> if you if you turn down a golden shield, there might be something wrong with you. Like if someone just comes up to you on the street and well, well okay, maybe not. Cuz if someone just comes up to you on the street and is like, "Here here's a golden shield." That's, that's a little suspicious. Like, "Where did you get that golden shield, man?" And uh, why are you why are you trying to give that to me? So I guess it's kind of weird that I just bought a random golden shield from that guy. But you know, I think it's a cool investment. Even if it is like stolen, you could just be like, hey man, I, I bought it from that dude. I don't know if that works. Does that work? Like if you if you bought something shady and like you get arrested for it, can you be like, hey, you know, I bought it from that guy and then he gets arrested instead? Like if someone steals like a million dollars from the bank museum and is like, here, take this million dollars. And you're like, yeah, cool. And you get arrested because you have a million dollars and uh, the bank is missing a million dollars. Can you just be like, yeah, I got it from this guy? I guess I'll just deny it. Full health restored. Always roll the dice. Never never not roll. See, a silver shield, whatever that shield, is not as good as a golden shield. I, at least I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Is, is, is. is silver worth more than gold now? What is this? What is this crack in the ground? Hello? I uh, see there's no reflection here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this non-reflection. I'm, I'm really impressed with how sometimes it's reflection and sometimes there's no reflection. I, I know it's a, like super small that I'm super impressed by that stuff, but I just I just feel like it's a nice design. I feel like Vagante needs an area where there's a reflection. Like where there's like a pool or like the ending area. Uh, wouldn't that be cool? Also, if you guys haven't seen my Catacombs Kid thing, you should go check that out. I don't know if it's going to be good for the channel. <clears throat> this game this game is good. It's just, I feel like the episodes are going to be too long for it to be a continued series. It's a really good game. You guys should go definitely go check it out. Uh, I think, I think I'm going to keep trying until I get number one, like, recorded. Because I know I can do it. Uh, I've, I've done it off screen a bunch. It's just, see, the problem is I'm going to have to record every single game that I play and talk over it. And your voice gets super tired. I don't even know if, if, if your voice gets tired as much as it's, um, it's just, it's just you run out of breath most of the time and you need like a drink or something. Like I don't have a drink with me, I should probably just start like bringing drinks with me when I record stuff. Um, Bomb, you're really being a pain in the butt right now. Thank you. Okay, I don't know why I was Valkyrie there for a second. Oh, well, yep. Yeah. I'm trying to search for secrets, but then skeletons pop up every five seconds, so they can just go screw themselves. Uh, I'm looking for secrets with Valk. Because Valkyrie finds secrets. That is a guaranteed... What do you say? Are you a sacrifice? You're a sacrifice. I was like... I didn't even pay attention to what that guy was saying. I was talking too much. 
That's another thing. Am I talking to you? I probably am talking too much. How often should I talk? I feel like there's nothing else like going on besides the game anyway. So it's just like audio noise, right? It's like when you're it's like when you're like in the doctor's office, right? And and you're you could watch like the people like going about their day. But it's much more interesting when there's like music playing and like when you read a magazine, it's much more soothing when the, when the music is playing. Not that this game is comparative to a doctor's office. That's a scary place. Actually, you know what? <laughs> this is a scary place. This is a scary place. It's not as boring as the doctor's. The doctor's office is boring before you get in, and then it's like, like, fucked up. I don't know. I don't know. I do. Do I, do I have an internal fear of doctors that I, I don't know about that I just now discovered? Because that wouldn't that be scary? <laughs> Maybe I'm just scared of everything, and I don't know it. Um, I, I keep completing quests. And I'm just shooting ahead so I don't die. <laughs> so I'm not actually completing the quest, I'm just kind of being a, being a giant, like, scaredy cat. That's what I'm doing. Um, that, there's still more stuff up here, which makes me not want to go down wherever that was. This looks like a boss room. No? No, it's not. Because the boss would trigger right away. At least that's how I think it goes. The... I have to get more bosses because the, the the score is heavily in influenced by bosses or at least it's it's got to be it's got to be um, because whenever I whenever I get high scores I get bosses like galore so it you know and we're at 4,000 that's a really good score 4,000 is good um, honestly I have a shield uh, I'm looking for uh, that one spell the the spell the spell does this mana have anything to do with anything is it like oh and I have a health potion those big health potions are actually better than I give them credit for because they stay in your inventory and whenever you lose health you just heal it back which is a good thing which is something that um, would be really cool if if it just did it all the time and I wonder if I buy multiple big potions if they'll stack I'm getting ahead of myself though I'm also looking for coming back to life when I die because that's always helpful uh, I would like that very much to have that to have that as, as an ability and um, you know you, you can't always have what you want I guess Valkyrie leveled up. Valkyrie leveled up level two great <laughs> good to know that I pay so much attention to Valkyrie um, good done oh well good uh, you, uh, we have to complete this game. Well, well, I guess I'll just screw myself. Okay, stop. Bop, bop. Okay, we took damage, but we have a health potion, so I'm not worried about it. We have 188 health. 188 health isn't bad. Not not bad at all. Level up. Quest completed. What is the quest? <clears throat> I wish it would give you. Uh, you know what? You know what would be a cool addition to this game? If if you're watching, uh, if if any of the devs watch this, or any any of the devs, I think it's just one guy. I think it's Orange Orange Pascal. Pascal. Uh, but he's he's really cool and I if, if he's watching he should put a, a task bar like of quests somewhere on the screen I don't know where there would be room for that like maybe make this smaller this doesn't need to be as big I think if the UI was smaller it would look nicer uh, because it would look uh, you know you know and the and the map can stay the same size because the map is already uh, you know it's decent it's decent right there but I think if this was like in a straight line and small it would be good and then you put right under it like a quest bar and it tells you all the quests on the current floor uh, or don't no, see no, no the purple hooded guys are coming out um, which isn't good for me <laughs> um, so that way you know what quests are in the in the area and, and then or or as you discover quests as you talk to the people maybe it, like it like fills the quest bar I don't know if that's possible if that's possible I would love that to be in the game um, He's done a good job so far. I, I have nothing against uh, what he's been doing so far. Is that a shop door? 
What's in the shop even before I even go over there? Um, Fire Fist, which I don't care about because I have Valkyrie, and a Wooden Shield, which I don't care about because I have a Golden Shield. Uh, and there's the exit. <clears throat> but yeah, Quest Bar would be really cool. I don't know. I don't know how how he wants to. That's cool. I like how that blew up. Um, I don't know how that how that's gonna be possible though. So I'm probably just probably just not uh, doing very well explaining myself. Are you gonna take me to the magical forest? You probably are. I think that you're the magical forest lady. Heck yeah! I want all of those. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Oh, and cool. Good. Glad that series of events took place. I need to. Um, I need to be more careful around bombs. With with a slow with with as slow as wizard moves, I need to be very careful around just the bomb race in general. Also, are they a race? Are these races? Are these like things? I imagine they have to be. Like these are mini demon dudes, chibi demons. I like the chibi demons. I I hate them and I like them at the same time. Like they're cool because they're chibi, and like who doesn't like chibi stuff? Like. If you don't, you don't have a heart. No, I'm just joking. Uh, but seriously, they're really cute. And everything in this game is like a chibi version of itself. <laughs> so it's almost like um, like this bomb. Look at how cute that bomb looks. Like Even even though it's it's going to destroy my life, probably. Uh, it's, it's, it's a cute bomb. Should I be going gung-ho for those? I think I should. Because they give you points. Uh, and I'm not sure how much I should value points. I really like this health bar. I f or this health potion. I feel like I'm going to lose it any second. But I really like it. You need to stop. Thank you. Alright, through here. Dungeon 9. Okay. Oh, good. Yes. Oh, you know, we didn't go to the magical forest. But, do I care? Not really. Uh, because, you know, we're getting points. Go, go, go. Okay. Go over here. And then over here. So, I don't know what to talk about most of the time, right? Like, I'm just playing the game. I feel like all I care about is getting to this top spot. And not, not even the top spot. Like, I, it's, Sheesh is almost unreachable right now. He's the 33,000. That's going to take like a two hour episode to complete. And I really don't want to. Um, I, I, I really don't want to upload a two-hour video because because people don't have time to watch two-hour videos unless they do in which case I'll just shut up but uh, but I have to beat the top spot eventually awesome sauce awesome sauce awesome sauce awesome uh, where did the word awesome sauce come from I don't even know if it's a word rather than my friends just said it when I was a kid they're like awesome sauce and I was like, what the crap is awesome sauce? And lame sauce? People say, said that all the time. What is this? See, titanium seems like an ultimately better shield than gold. Because it has gold on the outside. You always know. You always know. I'm, I'm thinking, right? Like wood and then silver on the outside. So the next best is silver. So And then silver has like gold on the... Or, or maybe titanium isn't as good as a gold shield. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... I'm overthinking it, probably. If this is just the sheen of the of the, the titanium. Um, do I think that we can get the high score in this? Uh, you know, I haven't seen any bosses, and usually a testament to how high scoring your run is going to be is if it has a bunch of bosses in it. And since we don't have bosses, I think it's going to be a relatively low scoring run. That being said, I am going to try off screen way harder than normal to try and get to uh, either second or third uh, because I've never been number one um, besides you know what I was number one at when the game first 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 came out I was number one in Mortal Kombat uh, Mortal Kombat freaking the fighting game the new one that came out when it first came out I got it right away and I played it and for like a week I was number one uh, I was I would, I would play it online ranked and I was number one and then uh, and then that stopped happening <laughs> Hey, yo, I really like that 
Yeah, I really like that. That's awesome. Also, are there any secrets? Am I? Can I only play as mage in this room? That's interesting. Okay. So it's whatever character you enter with you have to play with. Wow, that would have been that would have sucked if I was Valkyrie. I, as much as I like Valkyrie as a character, I I would never use them for combat. I use her for secrets. Uh, because that's where it's at. I need another health potion. Are you a sacrifice guy? You must first put out the fire. All right. So our first boss is gonna be flame the flame guy. Uh, hello, I need that. Uh, hello, bomb. Oh, you suck. That everything just went bad there. Everything went bad there. I, I was like, oh, oh, a thing that I want, and it was like, yeah, too bad. All right. So flame shield. How am I gonna defeat flame shield? Good question. Uh, I'm super glad that the door blew up. So even if this is the boss room, which it's not, um, the door was blown up. So this is the boss room, uh, and I'm gonna destroy that guy before I even get in the room. All right, Flamehead, me and you, me and you, 260. Are you gosh darn serious? Oh heck yeah! Oh heck yeah, boy! Dude, we're doing bank for damage. That must that must be an update. Like we're we're taking out bosses. No no joke. No joke. It, it, we, you know, we are mage. I do have to say that mage does way more damage than, or, or the wizard does way more damage than than the other guy, the elf, uh, which is cool because I like the diversity between speed and range, or speed, speed and damage and range and whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. That being said, we're at seven thousand, almost at uh, my 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 subconscious goal of 10,000 uh, because if you don't reach 10,000 it's like you didn't even try um, is kinda of my philosophy when it comes to this game um, alright uh, get this done get this get out of the way come over here we gotta get that experience. I think that's experience, right? Because there's no mana in the game. There should... I, I, I feel like there could be mana. There's just not mana. And I miss, missed out on whatever that was. He's gonna take me to the sewers? Which doesn't sound like a bad idea. That being said... Is that health? Is that health? Can I have that? No! Are you kidding me? Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care enough. I don't care. You know what? Damage me. See if I care. Because I don't. Because I don't care. And that guy hit me somehow. Stupid. Um, I want more bosses. Give me more bosses. I feel like the frequency of bosses should be increased. If, if their health is going to be lowered. Yeah, take me to the sewer entrance. Okay. Ooh, okay. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Healing Man. Listen, you suck. Can you stop? I'm trying to talk to Mr. Healing Man, and that was just a dick move. Um, cool. So, Mr. Healing Man uh, definitely helped us out there. Uh, look at how much damage we're doing. I'm really excited. I don't even care about that soul thing. Uh, because chances are, as soon as I enter that room... Uh, I, I knew as soon as I entered that room, like, things were going to go down south. Die, 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 die. Are you serious with the not dying? Are you serious with the not dying right now? Oh, well, and then this dick. The purple guys, man, the purple guys are super good. If they, if they, if they, if they get the drop on you, you're, you're dead. I feel like when I record, I have like a tiny bit of a stutter, or even when I just talk in general, like I'll, like I'll just stutter. And I don't know if that's a, a good thing to do or a bad thing to do. It's just the thing that I have. And oh, oh, okay, and great. Can that old man heal me twice? 
Are you gonna? That girl gonna take me to the forest? Where is the old man? Does he just leave me? No. Yes. Oh, I love you for being in the game. Does he? <laughs> What if, uh, if watch him watch him come back at like level 18 and be like like hey remember all that healing I did for you what do you what do you want slay Rocco who has the key thank you thank you uh, is, is this where Rocco is yeah is this where Rocco's gonna be hey what's going on Rocco listen um, oh come on Rocco these small rooms man these small rooms Ow, ow, 43. Ow. Oh. Okay, this is this the this room is dangerous. I'm just gonna destroy everything and then leave. Uh and then we gotta heal before before we go. Before we go to a, another floor. Um because we we cannot be having all this damage that we're taking. We're taking too much damage for what what we what we're doing. Uh, you can tell you can tell when I stutter because I constantly repeat what I say, and it's kind of annoying. But it's also like I get it because I'm concentrating on the game and stuff. I just wish I didn't do it. Oh 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 oh! oh those guys do too much damage. Oh good, I'm healing myself anyway, so that guy can just go screw himself. Good. Uh, hey, yeah, dude, thank you so much. I have an abundance of those, and you're the literally the only thing I can spend them on anyway. <clears throat> it would be cool if there was a there's a guy that took your health for those gems, and then you would also get like a damage boost or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Because then there would be it would be a different it would be a different use for those coins. Because as it stands right now, and this is gonna suck. I knew it was gonna suck. Um. Because the way it stands right now, in, in the game's current state, the only reason you, you have those is to heal, so why not do it? But it would be cool if there was a way to like spend it for damage instead of health. Or like, uh, or you get a relic instantly or something like that. I don't know, I'm just spouting ideas out my ass right now. <laughs> that is a lot of guys. That is a lot of guys. I don't, honestly at this point I don't care about the coins that spawn, I just want to kill the guys that are coming at me. And, uh, destruction. There we go. You have to, like, point away from the thing and then go towards it with your mouse. <clears throat> We're doing well with this damage that Mage does, though. I'm looking to level up again, but I don't know how fast that may be, or that may happen. Oh, good. We're we're at the level where these guys spawn. We're at the level where things happen here. Good. Done. Game, set, match. This, 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 dead, gone. Boom. Okay. Done. Done. This level is up, oh, and there's a key in that spike. Uh, I know I always take damage on those spikes. Whenever I try to kill them, I always take damage. I, I should probably be more careful, but then again, like, I don't know. Do I have to walk all the way back to that door way over there? Gosh darn it. And of course, this thing. There's like no way around it. You have to take damage there. There we go. Done. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not ready. Oh, I saw what spawned. And I am not ready. I am not ready for you. Please stop. Please no, please no, please no, please no, please no. <sighs> okay, there's another one up there. Up over here. Okay. Oh, I need to run, but then it's gonna summon another one. Oh, I'm dead here. Oh, I'm dead here. There's nothing I can do. Oh, okay. <sighs> um, okay. So, Dungeon 15, not bad. We we got close to 10,000. It's like we didn't even try. Oh, game over. Uh, but you win some and you lose some, right? <sighs> Gosh darn it.
so now now I'm gonna play a bunch off screen to try and get to the top spot. Although I don't know, because that score that I got where I got second place is definitely the highest score ever that I got. Um, and that was with like tons of bosses. So we'll see we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see we'll see if I can get to maybe maybe three. But holy crap. Whew. Um Thank you guys for watching. This has been Tuba Player Negative AE. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like, subscribe if you feel necessary, and I hope you guys are having that good day that you hoped it would be. Uh, peace out, guys.